The last three months have been turbulent for cereal farmers across the country, following widespread infestation of crops by the fall armyworm. And now, the government is admitting that this will worsen Kenya's food situation going forward. So we are seeing a decline. We are projecting a decline of 20 to 25 percent of our yield this year. By October, November, when the harvest starts, our teams on the ground will have more accurate information as to the extent. These projections pointing out to an estimated 15,000 hectares of land under maize production in the country or more under attack from the pest. The fall army worm was first reported in March this year across nine counties in western and Rift Valley regions, which are the tradition of food baskets. Currently, the pest has infested crops in regions such as Mount Kenya and Coast, with efforts to put its spread to a halt underway. We are aware Coast is one of the target areas as we speak now, Kuale. This army, army worm has also hit that place. And we have new areas where it has hit. That is the areas where we want to target so that we don't, it does not spread. The government has initially indicated setting aside 200 million shillings to fight the pest before, revising the figure upwards to 300 million shillings. This was to help procure and distribute pesticides to affected farmers. The efforts have now seen private sector players also move in with donations. We are cooperating with the authorities not only here in Nairobi but also in the counties to train, to teach farmers because it's not only a question of having a product av available, you, you also need to use it the proper way. They should also give serious discounts when they are selling to the farmers because there is no farmer who was ready to spend this extra amount because of this um, fall army one. Denis Sotieno, Citizen TV.